So what do we got for you here today? Well, that is uh, a oil filter from a 2013 Jeep Wrangler with the 3.6. Of course, it is the Baldwin brand, and the number is P P7492. P7492. So if you can see it there, P7. 492 and yes it is Baldwin it was in my wife's uh, Jeep and I changed the oil for her and I took this out and I want to see cut her open and see how good it's doing now um, of course it sits like this it goes down like that this pops into the the cap I I hate this kind of oiling system by the way, because every time she starts that Jeep, uh, the way that Chrysler built it, all the oil is emptied back into the engine. There, no oil stays up top where that is. So when she starts that Jeep, you can hear it's on a dry start almost every time, every morning. You can hear it clatter a little before it actually gets going. Now, hopefully we'll have a a uh, new well actually we will we will be installing a new oil filter housing because she's got some leakage there i believe from uh, the coolant and everything and coolant's been actually leaking from that spot so we're just going to change the whole thing and it's, the new housing comes with the new type of filter that doesn't allow it to run back to the block so that's good now, this filter. Uh, she, usually, she usually uses these uh, Baldwin on her Jeep. But I was trying to make this a short video, not too long. It's already been, wow, two minutes? Oh, come on. Let's pick up the pace here. So I'm going to cut her open. Actually, I'm going to cut the filtration off. I don't have to cut it open. And then we'll take a look at it. So there we go. Got her cut. That was pretty quick, eh? I think so. Uh, let's see. And yes, these bald ones use the uh, plastic or inner tubes on them. Really thick filtration on these, though. That's crazy. So, where does she attach here? And how come these filters always, the ones without being in the canister, look so much better than the uh, with the filtration? Just because you can see what the filtration looks like. Like, the filtration on these is so thick. Where is the connector on here? Like, where does it connect? You can't run as one steady piece. What the heck is going on here? Oh, I see metal in here. I knew it would have metal in it. <sighs> Quite a bit of metal. I hate those dry starts. I honestly can't find where it connects. Is this, uh, what the heck's going on here? Where does it connect? I guess it doesn't matter. Usually these connect somewhere, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, like, you can see little metal specks and stuff. Oh, man. But the engine's not dirty. She, uh, quite regular on her oil chain. Oh, there's where it connects. Is this where? No, that's... Is that? Nope, that's not where it connects. Huh. No. Well, it is. Yes, it is. That is. is that? No, that's not where it connects either. But, uh, yeah, there's quite a few metal specs in there. Like I said, I hate those dry starts on, the, on those uh, 3.6s. It's terrible. But clean filter, always uses synthetic, and it's clean. Uh, not much gunk in here. Uh, oil change was done at 5,250 kilometers. 5,250 kilometers. But, uh, I can't believe how much metal's in here. This is... Do all Jeep engines do this? Like, wow, this is terrible. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I'm, I'm not sure if you can. The sparkly's in there. She's quite sparkly. So, okay, we're going to have to do something about that. Um... I am. I'm getting that new new oil filter housing coming in, and uh, hopefully that'll take care of the dry starts 
and hopefully take care of everything else with the Jeep. All right, as you can see it, the filter is pretty clean except for all the metal flake. Uh, this was just going to be a quick one, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll continue to bring you well, probably oil filter reviews. Yeah, that's what I do.